Out in the fall, the wind is cooler, the leaves are dying, and the children's shows are getting spooky. Hey, 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 and welcome, welcome. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Since it's October and it's Halloween time, I wanted to uh, talk about... Halloween specials. Now, what kind of specials am I talking about? I'm talking about those kids TV shows. You know, your favorite kids TV shows. Um, they would always have different specials for different holidays, whether it be Christmas or Easter or summertime or President's Day, you know, whatever, whatever holiday you like, Valentine's Day. Uh, a lot of TV shows, a lot of kids shows, cartoons and live action kids shows, which I'm going to be talking about today um they like to do these uh, little specials um these little um special episodes and the reason why i love these little special episodes is because you ne- you don't get these kind of episodes all year long um you only get them through these specific holidays and the reason why i like the halloween ones a lot is because they're usually really zany and crazy uh usually um they pull out all the stops for halloween and they will make some of the most ridiculous and crazy uh episodes for halloween so that's why i today i want to talk about um one of my favorite tv shows is as a kid Lizzie McGuire. Now, I don't know if you remember Lizzie McGuire star- starring Hilary Duff. It's just a show about this middle school girl and all the struggles that she goes through. But trust me, this Halloween episode of Lizzie McGuire is is pretty fun. Uh, it's really crazy, and I love it. These kids writers, I think they just get really bored about doing these regular... Um, these regular episodes. So whenever it comes time to Halloween, they just get they just get really excited to do something really crazy. So that's why I want to talk about it. I want to talk. I think the episode is called "Night of the Day of the Dead," and let's just get into it. Let's start out. Let's start watching it. So we start out with uh, Lizzie's little brother Matt, and he does something that I see a lot in kids' TV shows that I have never seen in real life. Boxes of raisins. We'll blow them off. Then we'll take the D bus to Rancho Vista Estates. They're all rich and they do about full size candy bars and dollar bills. So what he's doing is he's kind of like pl- plotting out um, where he's gonna go. Of get candy like you saw I'm pretty sure we've seen this in a lot of like cartoons and TV and kids TV shows and the first question that always comes to my mind whenever I see this is who who has ever done this I don't know if you if you've ever done this before but I for sure have never done this Uh, my parents would have never drove me around six different neighborhoods if I would put out a piece of paper and show them to them. It's like, hey, I'm going to go to this neighborhood. And I'm going to go to that neighborhood. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. My parents would have been like, hell no, we're not doing that. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to uh, this neighborhood, this one neighborhood. And we're going to go to every house. We're going to get candy. And then we're going to get the fuck out of here. That's how it's going to be. So, you know, I've always dreamed about being able to plot out to get the best Halloween candy. But it's just something I've never been able to do. And now that I'm an adult and I can drive myself, I can't trick or treat. It's weird. People aren't going to, you know, if I show up to their house, they're not going to like it. Yeah, but uh, I just think, I don't know, this is just a really funny detail that I just see in a lot of uh, kids' TV shows. You know who you should go as, Matt? A troll. That way you wouldn't need any makeup. Actually, I was going to be the ugliest kid on earth, but you're already wearing the costume. So we get some of the classic sibling rivalry of uh, Lizzie and Matt. And if you've seen the show before, you know that they're always bickering, always going at each other. And, you know, just kind of the thing it is. Um, And Lizzie's and then Lizzie's parents kind of drop a bomb on Lizzie bag was too small last year. Can I borrow the wheelbarrow? Uh, champ, you're not going to need a trick-or-treat bag this year because you're not going trick-or-treating. No. <laughs> now, don't worry. You're going to have a good time. You're going to go to the Halloween Fright Night at your sister's school. He's what? <laughs> so, Lizzie's parents drop a bomb, and they say that she has to take Matt to her little dance thing or little, you know, party, Halloween party. They got haunted dungeons, game booths, prizes, everything. Hello? Nobody asked me about this. If Stink Boy comes to my Fright Night, I'm going to have a terrible time. Aw, 
you will, I'm there. I think only older kids will understand the feeling that Lizzie has right now of just like of when your parents just like just drop a bomb like that like you've been planning something fun you've been planning something for a long time and then they have to drop a bomb like you got to take your little uh, sibling I can definitely put myself in Lizzie's shoes when I was her age and just, you know, get get really, really mad when, when, when my parents would tell me, you have to take your little rudder. And I was just like, no, no, this is supposed to be a time for me and my friends. Come on. Come on, Dad. Come on, Mom. What the hell? And then we go into the classic intro. And I don't got much to say about the intro other than that. This intro is jamming. <laughs> The second that I saw this intro again, I just got so many good like goosebumps about watching this TV show. Um, I forgot how much I really like this TV show. So we go into the main episode, and we got the kids uh, planning out the Halloween dance. The girls' soccer team will be in charge of painting the soccer balls like human heads for the guess how many human heads are in a barrel of heads game. Where are any of the teachers? Now, not to spoil this uh, episode, but in this whole entire episode, you do not see any of the parents, like, at all. Like, you don't see any teachers, any parents. The only parents that we see are Miranda's parents and Lizzie's parents. And I'm just like, where are all the adults? I, I don't know about you, but whenever we had any, like, thing where it was... um, It was, like, a Halloween dance or some kind of dance or just any get-together, there was, like like 10 chaperones around the most unrealistic thing about this episode is that there are no chaperones around that's even more unrealistic than this guy being able to do this phaser noise uh with just his mouth look i am your father it's darth vader i do a great darth vader i, I don't know if you caught that but whenever he's doing that impression he was doing like a little phaser like a little uh phaser effect with his mouth and you know, I know in the in the post production of the episode, you know, they added that in later. But in the logic of the episode, is not is anyone not amazed by this? Is anyone not amazed by this guy just being able to do this weird kind of sound? Look, I am your father. That's crazy. You must be an alien or something. Let's discuss decorations. I want to display skeleton dolls from El Dia de los Muertos, which is the Day of the Dead, which is Halloween in Mexico. Why would we want to display your stuff? Classic Kate. Just wanting to keep things nice and white. I think it's great to have stuff from other countries at our parties. Yeah. 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 But none of these other kids are having Kate's small mind in this. They want some diversity at their parties. It's even grosser than I thought. Of course it's gross. It's where the janitor keeps his bucket of throw-up sand. Do you remember that shit? That kind of sand stuff that Gordo's talking about? Watching this episode brought back so many terrible memories of kids throwing up in the hallway or in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure I hate the smell that sand stuff that they put over, over throw-up. I'm pretty sure I hate the smell of that more than actual throw-up. Just thinking about it right now, just ugh. I, I hate it. And now we get into one of the most heinous things that I've ever seen in a TV show. Thanks for helping me, Gordo. I'm not helping you. You just had to meet you here. You said you were going to give me a hamburger. Lizzie told Gordo that if he helped her, she was going to give him a hamburger. I don't know about you, but if I was Gordo, I'd be pissed. You can't just promise someone a hamburger and just not give it to him. What the, what the fuck is that? But that's okay, though. Lizzie makes it up by promising Gordo to force her cousin to go out with him. Why on earth would I participate in that? Because my cousin Heather's coming into town again this summer, and I'm going to get her to go out with you. No, no. Don't do that. Don't do that to your family member. Don't force someone to just go out with your friend. Quit your yapping. We've got work to do. So Gordo and Lizzie clean up the closet, and then uh, Kate comes back with uh, this bomb. Ugh, the utility room is all clean, Kate. What a good little cleaner you are. I'll need props for the dungeon so I can start decorating. Oh, I forgot to tell you. 
I decided to be the vampire dungeon mistress. I need you to be Floppy the Clown and give out balloons. What? You said if I cleaned out the slop hole, I could be Vampira. I know Kate right here was just tricking Lizzie into cleaning the closet for her. And I hate that Kate did this to Lizzie, but I don't know. I kind of feel like it's justified a little bit. You know, Kate promised Lizzie that she'd be able to be the vampire. Lizzie also promised Gordo a hamburger. And does Gordo have a hamburger? No, he doesn't. I decided that Vampira should be someone tall and desirable. And that's me. See ya. It's karma for you. Did somebody order a box of skulls? Hey, Mom. Where's Dad? Oh, he's coming. He had a little accident in the parking lot. I may need a needle and thread. I got my sleeve caught in the car door. <laughs> <laughs> Miranda's parents come in and they're pretty cool. They love Halloween. They love the whole ordeal and, you know, they think it's fun. And, you know, Kate in this scene is just being, you know, Walter White levels of Two-Face right here. Hi, Mrs. Sanchez. How are you, Mr. Sanchez? Oh, how interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing this with us. It is going to make our Friday night so much more interesting. So after Kate does whatever she's doing, she demands Miranda to put all her stupid brown shit to the side. Thanks again, Mr. and Mrs. Sanchez. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Get that stupid junk off the refreshment table. Take your little ancestors and stick them in the corner. I'm in charge here. I say where stuff goes. Do these things really have powers? Mm -hmm. Go get Kate. Sick her, boy. Go get her. I'll give you a bone. I don't know about you, but Lizzie should tread lightly because if I know anything being a Mexican is that you do not mess with Mexican voodoo. You just don't. So Lizzie has to dress up as a clown, and she's stuck giving balloon animals to anyone. It's a snake. Here. It's a worm. Here. It's a spaghetti. Come on, Lizzie. You're not even trying here. Come on, Lizzie. Put in a little bit more effort in those balloon animals. This is a lame balloon animal. So Matt, being the dumb, stupid little idiot that he is, uh, decides to eat... Uh, one of the tamales that was supposed to be for Miranda's ancestors. Man, this is a good tamale. Any more of them? Where did you get that? Over there where the skeletons are getting married. You ate the food offering of the Day of the Dead? You stole the sacred meal of my dead ancestors? And oh boy, does a lot of spooky stuff starts to happen. Was lemonade. It was. Now it smells all moldy and rotten and dead. What's that? The spirits are awake. Evil and doom walk the night. This right here just proves that you don't mess with a Mexican's tamales. So right when all this weird stuff starts to happen, uh, we go back to Lizzie's house and we see what her parents are up to. Trick or treat. Hey, you were just here 15 minutes ago. Uh, no, I wasn't. So some kid knocked at the door and he's very being very, very confrontational with uh, the trick or treating. Now hand over the candy. Yeah, it was you. You think I wouldn't remember this costume? Who are you supposed to be anyway? Um, I'm the knife guy. Now give me some candy, old man. Tick tock. I don't know about you, but if I was um, Lizzie's parents, uh, I probably would just would have brought out the pepper spray. Tick or oh. Ow. Ah. Back at the party, uh, things start to get really, really uh, trippy. Oh my gosh, you're inside the burger, buddy! I am? Oh, well, get me out! How? Tell the spirits I'm sorry. Uh, tell them I'm scared. Don't try to blame this on me. Oh, my parents, I miss them. I don't know if I'll... Ah! 
Oh God, Miranda just killed Gordo. Gordo, look what you did! I didn't do it. Don't try to blame this on me. You pushed me first. So Gordo gets turned into a bobblehead, and Miranda knocks him over, killing him. And then Lizzie gets turned into the zombie. <laughs> And I just have to ask, why does Lizzie get to turn into a zombie? For me, I feel like Gordo got the short end of the stick. I mean, he got turned into a bobblehead and Lizzie gets to be a full-fledged zombie. I mean, come on. I think he would have done a better job at being threatening than she is right here. Mace. Good. <laughs> so... Lizzie starts to chase Kate and Miranda around, and she chases them right into the closet. You know, the same closet that Lizzie promised Gordo a hamburger. Why doesn't Gordo have a hamburger? She's not Lizzie right now. The spirits of the dead have taken over her body. Kate. As they're using Lizzie for, for revenge, they're mad because you, you called the Day of the Dead artifact stupid. And shove them off in a little corner. So after a little freaking out a little bit, uh, Miranda explains how to appease her Mexican ancestors. And, you know, it just requires some very common items. Yeah! Yeah! Can we stop her? I, I think I remember my grandmother talking about ways to beg the spirits for forgiveness. Yeah! We need a, sh a shovel full of graveyard dirt and a gallon full of blood. Don't worry, don't worry. That bucket of blood doesn't have to be real. Stuff. It can be symbolic. If that were the case, this this episode would have been very, very dark. So Kate and Miranda get chased out of the closet by Miranda's ancestors, you know, almost attacking and killing them. And they run right past zombie Lizzie. <laughs> they run right past her and she just does like... She just sort of like stands there. You know, she just kind of stands there and then she does this like little jig. I guess that's what you can call this. And, you know, I'm just like, this whole time they've been hiding from zombie Lizzie. Like she's a threat. And then they just run right past her. Like, what the hell? Go over and knock over a couple more cups, zombie Lizzie. Uh, I think that's where your strong suit is at. We have to cover ourselves with the punch and the chocolate cake. Oh. <laughs> So Kate, in a desperate attempt to uh, appease uh, Miranda's ancestors, uh, covers herself in fruit punch and cake. And then we get the reveal. Kate! Oh, not working! Okay, okay, now you have to perform the dance of the dead. Uh, twirl around and hop on one foot. Now call like a crow! Kyle! The whole entire time, this was a ruse. It was a prank. <laughs> now say cheese. Uh, this is going to look terrific in the school newspaper. So I know this whole time, Miranda's just been the worst. You know, she's she promised Lizzie that she could be the vampire. You know, she's being two-faced in front of uh, Miranda's parents. And she just, you know, all around is kind of an unpleasant person. But, like, I don't know. Something about this just feels very, very mean. Help me. Help me. Uh, I'm going to look ridiculous on the front page. <laughs> What's the matter, Kate? Zombie got your tongue. <laughs> Feels even weirder that Miranda's parents are, like, in it the whole time. It feels kind of weird that, like, the only chaperones around are, like, messing with this middle school girl, I don't know. This like this whole thing just feels kind of weird for me. And I know that this whole entire you know episode was kind of justifying you know this kind of treatment of Kate. But I don't know. Like it just 
me being an adult now looking at this from, you know, my perspective now, I don't know. It just something about this just feels wrong and off. And the child abuse doesn't end because Lizzie's parents come up with a great idea to get rid of the trick-or-treater. You really think he's going to come back? Hey, I was a kid once. I know how these punks think. Huh, see? Right on cue. So, uh, on the count of three? Yeah. One. Two. Trick or treat, you punk! <gasps> oh! Miranda's staying overnight, and she forgot her sleeping bag. Oh, no. It was Miranda's parents. Oh, no. Oh, God. I feel so bad for them. Oh, shit. God bless. That's that's just, that's just terrible. That's just terrible. Yeah, it must feel awful to you know be you know get soaking wet and you know get this sh shit thrown all over you. I wonder how that feels. But for real though, I feel like that's karma for them. And you know, at the end of the day, Kate's Kate's not really the victim here. Gordo's the victim. Gordo never got that hamburger. But yeah, uh, I had a really fun time uh, looking back at this episode of Lizzie McGuire. Uh, this was one of my favorite TV shows as a kid. And, you know, um, it's really fun. It's been years and years since I've ever even thought about Lizzie McGuire. So it's been really fun uh, looking at this uh, at this really zany episode of uh, Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, but I hope you had a fun time too. I hope you had a fun time uh, revisiting this, this uh, older TV show. And I hope that you have a very, very special spooky, spooky, spooky Halloween. <laughs>